Hi, Vadim's here. If you run into this common issue, I'll walk you through exactly how to solve it, fast and frustration-free. The easiest way to start building swim lane diagram in Microsoft Visio is to find swim lane template. Template comes with the title area as well as the two swim lanes. To assign your own title to the diagram based on what you're trying to build, you double-click on the title and type the new name. You assign names to the swim lanes in the same way by double-clicking the name of the swim lane and typing the new name. You draw the diagram by dragging the shapes from the stencils area in Microsoft Visio onto the diagram. Every swim lane diagram typically has a starting point, and for our particular process of purchase order approval process, the requester will be gathering details for the purchase order and creating purchase order approval request. Microsoft Visio provides you three different ways to add shapes to the diagram. You can drag shapes from the stencils area right onto the diagram. Once shape is in place, you can double-click on the shape and add the required text. To connect the shapes, you need to switch to connector tool and draw the line in between the shapes. Second way of adding shapes onto Swimline diagram is by copying shape and pasting it. You can update the text on the shape in the same way by double-clicking on the shape and replacing existing text with the new text. When you drag this shape, Visio provide grid lines so you can place the shape along with other shapes on the same diagram. And you draw the line between the shapes by switching to connector mode and drawing the line. The third way of adding the shape is the easiest because it allows you to add the shape and connect the line in the same step. To do that, you use triangles at the end of the shape and pick the next step from the list of available shapes. And as a last step, type the text by double-clicking on the shape and typing the text. As you can see, by using the third method, we've accomplished multiple objectives. We created new shape, new line was automatically added, and shape was placed along with other shapes to make the diagram look very professional. There are three main scenarios when you might consider using cross-functional swim lane diagram. The first scenario is when you need to define specific actors. You need to specifically outline who is doing what in the process. Second scenario is when you need to define specific roles and responsibilities. And the third scenario is combination the first two, as organization frequently use RACI matrix to define who's responsible, accountable, consulted, and informed in the process flow. Typically, after order is created in the system, direct supervisor or manager need to approve the acquisition. To do that, we need to show this as a step in another swim lane. Because this is a decision step, we need to show it with the diamond shape, but I already put in the rectangular shape, which shows the process. In fact, I did it on purpose to demonstrate you another cool capability of Microsoft Visio of changing the shapes. You do it by navigating to the home ribbon and choosing the change shape button, where you can pick the shape and replace one shape with another shape. You type the text in the diamond shape the same way as you would do in the regular shape. Typically, for the decision shape, there is one input and multiple outputs. One output might be when manager doesn't approve the request. We need to show it with the end shape. And to show the branch of not approving, we double click on the line and type the text. If manager approves the request, it needs to go to procurement department for processing. As you can see, we don't have a procurement department swim lane and we can add it in multiple ways. One way is to drag the swim lane from the stencils box directly onto the diagram and then snap it right into existing diagram. Another, and I think much easier way, is to select an existing swim lane, right mouse click, and say insert swim lane after. To give diagram a title, you double click on the existing title and type the new name. Typically, procurement department starts their process by requesting quotes from multiple vendors. To reflect this, we need to add a process step in the procurement swim lane, then add a title to the process box and then connect shapes using connector. We also would like to make sure to reflect that this happens after manager approves the original request. Procurement department is typically also responsible for selecting the vendor. They do it as another process step in the diagram, and we can reflect it as a separate shape in procurement swim lane. As you might have noticed, I was frequently switching between pointer tool and connector tool in Microsoft Visio. These tools are among three most used tools in Microsoft Visio application. In addition to pointer and connector tool, there is also a text tool, and all three of them are located in the tools section of the ribbon. You use pointer tool to position the shapes. 
With the pointer tool, you can drag the shape, you can resize the shape, and you can access properties of the shape. Using connector tool, you can connect shapes by dragging the line and connecting the two shapes. You need to switch back to the pointer tool to delete the line. And you delete the line by selecting the line and clicking cut or using delete button on the keyboard. The text tool allows you to bring in text into the diagram. When you select the text tool, you position the cursor and you start typing. To delete the text, you need to switch back to the pointer tool, select the text and either use cut or delete button on the keyboard. Once vendor is selected, procurement department is also responsible to update original order with how they've made a decision and which vendors they have contacted. And as a next step, they are in charge to request approval from CFO, Chief Financial Officer. I want to pinpoint that what just happened is very cool. We've added a shape that originally didn't fit into the diagram, but Microsoft Visio expanded swim lanes automatically to fit the shape, and it will continue to do it as you add additional shapes. We do have additional swim lane for CFO, Chief Financial Officer, but we do not have it named correctly so we need to go back and give it the right name. If you are like me and trying to avoid usage of the acronyms, you might want to consider adding the full name of the Chief Financial Officer right into the swim lane. After receiving the purchase order with all the required information, Chief Financial Officer needs to make a decision whether this is the right thing to do for the organization to acquire these goods or services. If Chief Financial Officer decides not to proceed with this acquisition, the process ends. But if CFO decides to proceed, it goes back to the procurement team, and procurement team sends details of the purchase order to the vendor. What's interesting, when I expanded to the next step using embedded features of the Visio, it created a box in CFO swim lane. But this process step is not done by CFO, but rather is done by procurement team. To reflect that, we just need to drag the shape and place it right in the procurement swim lane. We can also change the way arrow is connected. Instead of connecting from the left, we can connect the arrow from the bottom. I did this by dragging the end of the arrow from one spot to another. We also might want to reflect that this step happens only if CFO approves original purchase order. Next step in the process goes back to the original requester, where requester needs to work with the vendor to receive goods or services. By default, box was added into the manager swim lane but we need to drag the box back into the requester's swim lane and position it along the grid lines Microsoft Visio provides. This step concludes the process, which should be reflected by the end symbol in the swim lane diagram. Diagram we have developed looks okay, but kind of plain. We can do a few things to make it look more professional and better meet our needs. One thing I would recommend you do first is to navigate to Design tab and try different design themes. Microsoft Visio provides a lot of different design themes and you can pick based on your company's logo or based on some other criteria that are important to you. I like this theme, which is called Linear, but your preferences obviously might be different. Once you select the theme, you can pick the variant based off of the theme. Variant leaves the fonts, sizes, main ideas of the theme in place, but allows you to pick different colors I like the second variant as it provides calmer colors. Few things I'd like to pinpoint as we change the theme. For example, you see that the start shape, as well as diamonds for the decision making, got painted in a different color. I believe this is a good thing because it highlights the importance of the start and end points, as well as it highlights the importance of the decision making diamonds. In addition to changing the theme, Visio provides you a quick opportunity to change the background. You can upload your own image or select from the pre-built images for the background. You might have noticed that because we're using cross-functional flowchart template from Microsoft, Visio added an additional tab which is specific to just this particular type of diagram. If you navigate to this tab, you can do a lot of different things. For example, you can show or hide separators in between the diagram and the swim lanes. You can show or hide title bar you can choose different styles for your diagram, specific to swim lane type diagram. You can also arrange your shapes differently by changing the margins on the diagram. You can also change the direction of the flow with one click. 
from left to right to right to left. And you can also change the orientation of the diagram from horizontal to vertical with just one click. I am going to stick with the original type of diagram and just click the undo button. There are also some additional options available to insert swim lane, separators, or new page, and I would recommend you explore them on your own. If you found this content helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Online Training for Everyone. Have a great day.